Hello everybody. My name is Nisin Lopez. I'm a Cuban American artist based in Miami, Florida, and I also happen to be a targeted individual, a victim of covert harassment sponsored by law enforcement. I'm talking about organized talking here. Some people know this as government retaliation. I've been a victim of community-based mobbing for many years now. My targeting began, you know, on January of 2011, or at least that's when I realized that I was being unjustly and systematically harassed in an organized fashion by civilians that were obviously, you know, recruited by, you know, some type of sector or law enforcement, you know. Uh, I'm talking here about citizens on patrol, you know, surveillance role player, you know, these are the kind of people that are recruited and listed in order to unjustly and systematically uh, harass, agitate, intimidate, you know, terrorize the isolated target 24-7 everywhere he goes in order to cause a nervous breakdown. So what does a targeted individual experience on a daily basis? Well, you know, like I said, I've been a targeted individual for many years now, and uh, they basically mess with you, you know, every day, you know, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, you know, to destroy your mental health. You know, they, they, they recruit people that will mess with you. I'll give you a practical example. Sometime, some, sometime around uh, May of 2014, you know, I was in downtown Miami. I was uh, basically trying to use the Miami-Dade public uh, library system. And, uh, you know, I don't have a car anymore, so I use the bus. You know, I take the bus and I use the metro rail. So when I got off the metro rail station, at the bottom of the stairs, I encountered this uh, individual. You know, he was basically, you know, he cut me off and he was invading my personal space. And uh, he, he was insulting me for no reason. You know, he was basically provoking me. You know, a guy in his early 20s. You know, he looked like he could have been some type of drug addict, you know, maybe homeless, I don't know. But uh, he was basically trying to start a fight. He was provoking me, insulting me for no reason. So, you know, I, uh, I, I kind of figured that somebody, you know, this guy looked like he had been, he looked like an ex-convict or something. You know, he looked like, obviously, somebody had recruited him. You know, he was trying to trigger a response. It was more than obvious. So I walked a block, you know, and uh, when I got to the cafeteria that is uh, pretty much next to the library, I encountered a police officer there. You know, this is in downtown Miami. You know, I spoke to, uh, to the officer. And I told him, hey, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. You know, he was talking to, to another guy that, you know, he looked like a cop, but he was not dressed as a police officer, you know. So I talked to him, I told him, hey, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, I just encountered this guy, you know, at the bottom of the stairs by the metro rail station, by the entrance. This guy, you know, he was insulting me. He was basically, you know, trying to provoke a fight, you know, and uh, he was basically, you know, you know, just messing with me for no reason. You know, this guy, you know, he looked violent, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you this. So the officer, he told me, well, you know, if it gets on your face, you know what you have to do. And guess what happened? Check this out. The guy that was next to the officer, you know, he was wearing glasses and, uh, you know, he, he was dressed up as a civilian. But, you know, if you ask me, you know, he looked like he had something to do with law enforcement, either a cop or a firefighter. I don't know. The guy that was next to the officer, he extended his hand to me. And when he opened his hand, guess what he had there? You know, he was basically offering me a pocket knife in front of the officer. So I looked at the officer, like, basically saying, what the hell is this, you know? This is crazy, you know? So, so I just said, no, no, I'm sorry, you know, I'm not, I'm not into that. So, and I got away from there, you know? So... Now, here's the thing, uh, you know, I went to the library, and then when I got out of the library, and of course, you know, I have to use the entrance of the metro rail station in order to access the, the, the station. The guy that had been insulting me and provoking me, he was still there. But guess what? You know, when he saw me, he didn't say anything, you know, he just kind of like got away. So basically, what I'm trying to say here, basically what we have here is an event orchestrated by the police, you know, the police recruited this uh, 
citizen on patrol, this uh, this this uh, this thug, this, this guy that was uh, insulting the hell out of me and provoking me, they recruited this guy. They told him to insult me. They they told him to to basically provoke a fight. You know, to to make me angry, to make me upset. They know, cause you know, as a targeted individual, I'm under constant surveillance. You know, I've been a TI for many years now. They know all my habits, where I go. They know that every time I I, I go to the downtown library, they know that I always go to that cafeteria in the corner first, which is next to the library. They knew that I was gonna go there. So that's why they had this guy there, basically offering me a pocket knife. You know, they were expecting. You know, I mean they were trying to trigger a response you know they were they were basically pulling the strings orchestrating you know stuff you know hoping that I would lose my mind and that I would commit a crime you know I'm not a violent person so uh, you know I'm I'm not into that kind of stuff so but I'm just sharing this experience so that you have you guys have an idea of the kind of sick stuff that the police is involved with you know when it comes to community-based mobbing, you know, organized talking, you know, a targeted individual program, you know, this is a, a takedown program, you know, they basically mess with you, you know, you know, exposing you to, to, to negative environmental stimuli and dark neuro-linguistic programming, you know, to, to destroy your mental health, you know, and uh, what we have here is pretty much entrapment, you know, they orchestrated all this stuff, you know, trying to trigger a response so they could put me in jail under false accusations, you know, and to destroy my public image, you know, to make me look like I'm some crazy, violent guy or some shit, you know.